Hello boys and girls, it's Miss Lene. We've been talking about seasons in science lately. So I'm gonna read you guys call a book called Sunshine Makes the Seasons. Sunshine warms the earth. If the sun stopped shining, the earth would get colder and colder. We would freeze. The whole earth would freeze. So there's the sunshine. There's the freezing. The sun shines through the year, but we are in, we are warmer in summer than in winter. The amount of sunshine makes the difference. The earth spins around and rotates until, rotates once in 24 hours. That's why we have day and night. When we are on the sun side of the earth, there is daylight. As the earth rotates, we turn away from the sun. There is sunset and then night. Summer, winter, and then day and night. At the same time that the earth spins, it goes around the sun. The earth takes a year to make one trip around the sun. During a year, the length of our day changes. In winter, the days are short. It may be dark by the time you get home from school. It is cold because we don't get many hours of sunshine. As we move into spring, days become a bit longer. By summer, they are even longer. The days may be so long that it is still light when you go to bed. It is warm because we get many hours of sunshine. After the long days of summer, the days begin to get shorter and cooler. It is fall and time to go back to school. All through the year, the earth has been rotating once in 24 hours, giving us day and night. And through the year, the lengths of darkness and daylight have been changing. The seasons have been changing too. Okay, so in our story, there is an experiment to do. And for the experiment, you need a flashlight. He has, Grayson has a flashlight. You need an orange. They said to use a pencil, but I used a chopstick and a marker. So you're going to stick your pencil or chopstick through your orange. And then you're going to write at the top an N for north and an S down below for south. This is our north pole and our south pole. Then we're gonna go ahead and write, draw an equator in the middle. There's an equator in the middle of Earth. This orange represents our Earth. Perfect. Just like that. Mine's not very straight, but that's okay. So go ahead and do this too if you would like, or you can just watch us. Okay, we have our Earth with our North and South Pole and Equator. And I'm gonna have Grayson, who's gonna be the sun. He's gonna hold the flashlight. And our Earth is gonna rotate on its axis. It's gonna tilt and it's gonna spin. And we will see day and night. And once it makes its way all the way around the sun, that's one year. Okay, so we're gonna turn off the lights. Ready? Close your eyes. All right, Grayson, turn, stand up and turn on the light. Shine it that way. Okay, so it's daylight right now and I'm spinning it. And you can see the light will be hitting different parts of the earth. Okay, good. What this represents is that at different times, there will be different amounts of sunlight hitting the earth, which will change the seasons because the seasons are different with different amounts of sunshine. The southern half of our earth has seasons too. They are opposites of our seasons. When it is summer and we are going to the beach, people are on the southern half of earth are having winter. They are skating or skiing. The North Pole and South Pole ha also have seasons. Their winters are cold and dark. The sun does not rise every day. It is dark all winter long. 
During summer at the, at the poles, the sun does not set every day. For several weeks, there is no night. Oh my goodness. So here it says, good afternoon. Sure is a beautiful day and it's dark outside. And then down here it says, I'm tired. It's way past my bedtime and it's light outside. Isn't that crazy? Seasons at the poles are opposite. When the North Pole has winter, the South Pole has summer. Six months later, when it is winter at the South Pole, it is summer at the North Pole. Along the equator, it is warm all the time. Along the equator, it is warm all the time. The temperature stays about the same throughout the year. You can see why if you experiment with the orange. We move the pin to the equator. Watch the pin and see what happens. As you go through a year, you'll see that the day and night are just about the same length. In summer and winter, spring and fall. It's nice and warm there. That's good if you like warm weather all the time, but it's also nice to see snow once in a while, to see the flowers and birds of springtime, to go swimming in the summer and have pumpkins in the fall. Those are the four seasons, huh? Year after year, the days change and so do the seasons. We have winter, spring, summer, and fall because the sun warms the earth and because the axis of earth is tilted. Wow, wasn't that interesting? That was so much fun. Now, I have a really fun activity for you guys to do. Are you up for the challenge? I think you are. <laughs>